All right. Finally returning to the jank ass unboxing videos. Today we're going to be, uh, well, technically I already unboxed it and I'm going to just kind of cover the screen with the, uh, the one picture of it since, you know, don't really feel like dragging the uh, C920 out there and also recording. So you'll go ahead and uh, see everything uh, that would be within the box of the Titan 2022 Evo. Uh, and the current chair that I'm on that I am actually really not a fan of is the Aaron, Aaron Remastered V2. It's um, it's not exactly comfortable because of the um, <laughs> the lumbar support. Uh, at least that's my suspicion of it, because uh, I had the um, Aaron Mira, and and that one was okay, but there's a a piece on the back that kind of snapped off over time because I had bought that one used. So today. Are going to be putting together the uh, 2022 Titan Evo from Secret Labs. Okay, now that I have assembled everything in this space, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take this poster board and we're going to go step by step. I've already done step one where I've taken everything out of the packaging, so step two says lay out the foam sheets place the wheels on the foam insert five casters so yeah we don't exactly have to use this this foam padding so okay let's go ahead and get all the casters caster is another name for wheel so Trying to get it where the camera can kind of see it. I don't think you really need uh, too much of a zoom in for, for something like this. Uh, in my experience, you just kind of got to push and twist it in. And it uh, feels secured, so it doesn't seem too complicated for my mechanically inept brain since historically I've always struggled with uh, the mechanical side of things for example when I went uh, to go into the Navy I actually scored really well on everything except almost a big fat zero in mechanics mechanic mechanical knowledge and electrical so definitely wasn't gonna be uh, messing with uh, wires or working on any cars but I have, uh, I have improved over time. So, there you go. Everything is inserted here. And we shall move on to is it step number three. So you could kind of consider this as like a, a build along. Let's see. Turn the wheel wheelbase the right side up and insert the hydraulic piston. Slide the hydraulic sleeve over the piston. And there was uh, next two two accessory boxes. One that has the casters and and uh, what is this? Strong magnet. I don't know if that's if that has to do with the pillow, but the the pillow itself is uh, the head pillow is magnetic. Okay, so that's one accessory box out the way we'll put these aside uh, we are looking for the piston which I believe this is it and then the um, I forgot how to describe this but when you have um, an object that that has uh, similar versions of itself that go from uh, large to small small to large looking like yeah the thin part is facing up so see this thin part facing up and then we'll just go ahead and drop that in there has a, a nice snug fit um, 
twisting doesn't seem to do anything. Um, I think it's just kind of secured by the the weight and its wedging in there. Okay, so next we'll put the sleeve over it and it kind of just... Uh, I guess it, yeah, so you can kind of um, extend upwards. Kind of like a, like a telescope. You know how you like pull it out. It also compresses. But, okay. Don't worry, easy fix. All right, back on there. We are now on to step four. There are some screws pre-screwed into the backrest. We are using the hex side of the screwdriver or the, the Allen key. Guessing, yes, okay. So this is where our tools is, it's in the accessory box. All right. There we go. Look at that, nice and snug. Look at this amazing packaging by Seeker Labs. Uh, outstanding. Okay, now that everything is out, good. Set that down. And then take out the rest of these items here. And now, our second uh, accessory box is, is done. Get the wheels out of the way. So it looks like, yeah, okay. On both sides. <laughs> right here. I'm gonna be uh, undoing the screws or the hexes. Yeah, we're removing four screws. Okay. Oh, go ahead and get the other one out. It's going to say remove the four M8 screws. So those are the larger screws. You're leaving the um, these smaller brackets itself and you're actually grabbing the seat and then you're, you're sliding uh, this piece onto the brackets of the seats and I'll show you that in a moment. All right, so now we got the seat and the frame. Go ahead and slide it to the side here. So basically, we are doing this. We're taking it to the back, and we are sliding it onto the bracket, which is going to be a little bit more challenging than I'm making it sound. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so you just gotta position it right and then slide it in. Alright, so it said screw them in about halfway for the M8 screws, which are the larger ones. So now we are looking at the other side here, and I do see this is already misaligned, but this uh, bracket is adjustable. Okay, so you're having to you're having to do a number of things here. You're having to hold the bracket and push the seat down so that it lines up. Okay, there we go. make sure before we screw that in anymore that we get the bottom screw here lined up okay so now we basically have backrest attached to the seat so I believe that was step four or five, yeah, step five. 
Okay, push the left recline bracket aligned with the screw holes. Then tighten all four fully on both sides of the backrest. Okay. Oh, I see what it's saying. Okay, so when you are taking the um, the backrest and sliding it onto the brackets of the seat, so that you know you're making a, a tooth angle. <laughs> so you're, yeah, so you're making a tooth angle, and you slide it in, and you're screwing the MA screws in halfway so that you can get proper alignment on both sides for putting the screws in. And then once you have all four in, that is when you are tightening things fully. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Yep, and Foley is definitely where you cannot turn this sucker anymore. It is requiring significant force. Try not to screw one all the way in, just kind of do like each a quarter at a time. Otherwise there's gonna be undue pressure or you might be screwing it in with uh, potentially being misaligned. Okay, so now we are fully screwed in for the M8 screws uh, backrest to seat attachment, which now puts us at step seven. We are installing the magnetic side covers by aligning them with the backrest brackets. They will snap automatically in place. <sighs> Yep. All I did is I just held it up to it. Uh, the you could say the pointy end is just facing upwards. Although this is the correct side for this one, and and okay, yeah, and that's that's installed. Well. Oh. Yeah, this other side seems a bit weird. Okay, that's good. All right. So I guess that's step seven. Step eight, remove the recline strap. Now use the Phillips screwdriver to remove the red screw marked by the safety tab. Yes, I was gonna mention this earlier. So on the right side, there is a, a red, um, red piece of plastic here. And there's also a red screw. Oh, directly behind me, of course. Okay, so on the right side here, I'm gonna go ahead and I guess as best as we can, yeah, it still, it still works even though there's a little bit of a tight squeeze. Just going to undo this red screw. Yeah, the uh, the recline strap is just like a piece of, uh, I guess, a cardboard or, or, or whatever was covering it that I had taken off earlier. So now you can see there's a little, and I and I know it's not going to be the best view, but I'm trying to just kind of describe it verbally as good as I can while giving a a realistic version of uh, installation here. So you take out this this red piece, red screw. Lift the chair and gently set it facing downwards. You're changing the orientation. We are now putting it on its face basically so that was step 10 step 11 so now we're taking this piece and we're taking the the two petals and saying Per two sticker label under the seat base. Okay, so this this is the seat base piece for correct orientation of the tilt levers. Line up the grooves on the inside of the lever handles with the notches and insert fully into the shafts. 
tail lock, red ring. Okay, there we go. This one facing downwards. Okay, now we are aligning with these brackets. And even though I may have installed uh, short screws and long screw spots, I don't think that's going to matter here. or vice versa to what I just said. Uh, we just need to get something that will screw in here. But I will put the short ones in on top and the longs on the bottom. Definitely want to make this... This is what you're sitting on, so this is going to need to be nice and secure. All right, and then we will be pushing the, the wheel mechanism and the piston in. And then installing the armrests. Doesn't exactly snap in. So I'm guessing this is forever just going to be, you know, it's 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 more put in place by the weight of it and the orientation rather than a lock-in mechanism. And then the last step was to put the armrests on. And they appear to be magnetic and snap on as well. So is this the. Okay, right side is the height, left side is the tilt. Okay, so pulling it up makes it so it doesn't tilt. One click down. I think, oh, I guess it's just one. Kind of feeling it out. Definitely like this. This is reclined. And is it only that we can do the tilt all up? Okay. So now we have the tilt and the recline. <laughs> And it's confirmed we can fit 
fit our legs on here. I am 6'2 and skinny muscular, I guess you would say, would be my frame. I can do this if you want, but there is a lot more space on the seat. I did get the, um, there's three sizes. I got the second one, so the, the medium option. Okay, so now to figure out how you orient the uh, the lumbar pillow. And then there is so you should try it without the pillow first. There's two knobs on the sides here. So you can twist it to the right or tighten it and it'll go to a certain limit. So you know, one thing that's, that's really nice about this that I don't think I've had in any other chair um, is that I guess if you were for some reason wanting to lean forward like this, you're still getting that that support. That's nice because this uh, magnetic pillow, like you can kind of just slide it wherever you need it, and it kind of just uh, hovers in place. So I think that was a really good design choice. Okay, so we got like a push this in. I got a bunch of adjustments in here. Okay, we got this back back part to push in, and it'll go, uh, it'll slide in closer to you or further out. We got a, um, you know, silver button here on the front to adjust the uh, orientation. And that's nice because it'll lock in place whereas some other ones will kind of just slide out everywhere. I'm still looking for the... ah okay so you hold these in okay so we got in out we got or we can change the orientation and then we can go up down we got nice reclining feature even to the point of where it'll <laughs> it'll make you hunch over so I mean depending on what you're doing what you need it for that's actually it could be a nice feature uh, the assembly was fairly easy even for someone who's not super mechanically adept like myself uh, the only part I misunderstood was sliding the back piece onto uh, the seat itself and then uh, putting the screws in halfway from there to, to get the uh, all four holes lined up and then beyond that it was just you know kind of look at the pictures line things up and uh, I think that's pretty much it you know I'm um, just kind of, uh, I guess, enjoying the uh, the comfort of it. Okay, so now that I have kind of spent some time in the chair, so you know, I have the the uh, magnetic pillow in the back, and then I also have been using the uh, the lumbar support pillow that come. Well, it doesn't come with it; it's like an accessory. Uh, but the only one I had in stock that, um, as far as my preference goes, I, I just chose the horrid one from. World of Warcraft, uh, since I guess the standard wasn't in stock. But yeah, I've just been kind of sitting in it, trying it out. I love everything about it. Uh, it, it and, and I think the lumbar pillow uh, just in it of itself is it's just a massive help. I like uh, the, the pillow and, and just kind of having a uh, backrest that's taller is is really nice so I don't, I don't feel like i you know my upper back is just kind of hanging over 
Uh, yeah, I definitely think this is a huge improvement from uh, other chairs that I've sat in. You know, I'm, I'm, I've, I was kind of tentative about this soft weave material. You know, it seemed like it, it, it might be uncomfortable at first, uh, but I think, you know, they're, they're trying to balance something that's soft yet durable at the same time. Uh, and, you know, there's pros and cons to soft weave versus leather. I've, I've sat in both. And as, so long as I, you know, don't necessarily feel uncomfortable or, you know, can last a lot longer in the day before, you know, transitioning to, to other things, you know, that, that's kind of, that's kind of what matters. It's, it's not like there's really any chair that you can kind of sit in, uh, for, for the entire day without feeling, you know, a little bit of discomfort, but, you know, so far just immediately with, you know, both of the pillows, uh, the the back and, and even even some of the core uh, strain and tightness I've had have just kind of, you know, are, are lifting, you know, just an immediate 30% gone and then slowly dissipating. Uh, I really like the uh, recline feature, you know, just because, uh, you know, based on whatever I'm doing on the computer, whether work or gaming, listening to music, uh, going on VR especially, you know, if you want to get immersed in, in certain worlds and just having a nice reclining feature. Um, I, I've never been one to use the tilt too much. I honestly would just use the, the recline over the tilt, but it is in this chair. Uh, in, as far as the armrests go, you know, they did have an option to include softer padding on it. Uh, but they were out of stock of that, so I won't necessarily fault them for that. But uh, yeah, the, it's it's a little bit hard, but not terribly. Uh, it is is the uh, the the base armrest, and I can't always just you know whether through uh, Amazon online wherever just kind of just get some padding for that. But but yeah, that's that's the only uh, small complaint that I have. Otherwise, it's just a huge. The huge comfort upgrade um you know height height's good size is good i could i can sit you know pretzel style on it uh everything seems you know very good quality the chair itself came in some of the the best packaging i've ever seen you know plenty of plenty of support uh you know you saw the instruction board or poster and you know it was, it was helpful enough to kind of get you through it yeah the the setup process is is not too difficult at all so you know uh, of all the chairs that i've sat in i think this is slowly but surely becoming my favorite uh i definitely put it above the aeron v2 because i think that you know despite ordering up a size i think it was a size b um yeah, definitely better than that. Uh, definitely better than the uh, the Herman Miller Mira, or is the Aeron Mira? Uh, that was the the first one I have. Yeah, I just feel like I can kind of uh, with the with the help of the pillows, you know, I, I feel like I can just really relax in all areas. I can relax in my neck. I can relax in my back, and being in you know a good position you know to where i can stretch in my core or, or as well as you know be in a good ergonomic position um just seems good all around and actually let's go ahead and try yep the the height is actually is it is actually going I believe this is, this is probably about a few inches higher than my desk. So it actually offers more more height than a lot of other chairs that I've used as well. So uh, yeah, I think this is this is a really good chair. I think I think this is probably going to be uh, in terms of when I was doing chair research, I think this one's going to be a winner. Um, trying to think of uh, what else I might say about it. I think that would be it. Yeah. That's, uh, I think I think that's it. I would just I would just get some 
some you know padding to place over over the armrest which is easily uh, accomplished or it can be easily accomplished and yeah the, i think this might be uh probably the best chair <laughs>